Hey guys, what is up? It's Lizzie again, and today I'm going to be doing another thrift haul because I can't stop thrifting. I went to, oh yeah, the thrift stores in my town opened um, recently, so I went. This is like my favorite thrift store, and I always find the best things here. So I got a pretty good haul, and it was all $30, I think, for everything, because they price everything. Like, they don't do tax or whatever, because they donate it to um, some place, which is really nice. Um, so... I don't like how this lighting is cutting my face in half. Do you see that? Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So if you're not subscribed, I love you to subscribe. But, um, and also follow me on TikTok. I'm making some fun TikToks just for fun. I think it's fun to make little videos like that. So if you feel like following me on TikTok, I make like fashion-ish videos kind of things. And I've been th thrift flipping a bunch of stuff on there, so go follow me. Um, but first thing I thrifted because I was trying to make room on my SD card and I accidentally deleted this try on clip. So love that for me, but it's this, it's just this basic like blue tank top. Um, I fold it up sometimes. Yeah, it's just like that. Really basic. Nothing special, but I just liked the color. Oh yeah, I did go to a value village a second time too. So I'll start with what I got at my local thrift store. So I got this shirt and then I got this shirt which I thought was super cute it's like this blue um knitted kind of thing with like the white lining and it ties at the top here and then at the bottom so it's like super cute open back and a really pretty blue color and it's like cropped too so I thought this was super cute and super flattering and I'm excited to wear that a bathing suit I don't normally get bathing suits but this one looked pretty brand new and I looked up the brand, I never heard of the brand. The brand is Beth Richards, and these suits go for like $250 to $300, like $250. And I was like, okay, well, that was a steal because this was literally $2. So, and it looks brand new. It's just like this yellow mustardy. It's a bit, if it's a bit weird on me, but I can work with it. And then the back's super pretty. I can maybe wear it as like a bodysuit too. It has like these two double straps. You'll see the back in the try on. But it's super cute, super flattering, and I'm really happy I found that for so cheap. Okay, there was, it was really weird. There was like at least 10 different colors of this exact shirt in the exact same size. And I was like, should I get all of them? But then I was like, what if I don't like how it fits because I couldn't try anything on? So I got two, and they fit nice, and I'm going to crop them, I think. Or just like, I don't know. I'll do something with them. But they're these LL Bean basic um, long sleeve tops and I got a blue one because I got some blue items that I could maybe like do a monochromatic thing with um, but it's just like a standard like long sleeve blue t-shirt and it fits t-shirt no uh, long sleeve and it fits really nicely and I got it in this color I got it in this like cream white color because I thought it was really cute and just like a nice basic because I don't really have any basic long sleeve tops even though it's summer but like even with like shorts or something on like a summer night or something. I feel like it'd be really cute. So I'm really happy I got those. And maybe if I go back sometime soon, I'll get the other colors. I was not sure how these were going to turn out. But I got these like shorts. I'll insert my TikTok that I made of me cutting them. Because they were super long. Like almost to my knee length. And I didn't think they'd be that long. But they were like a size small. And I really liked the color. Hey guys. So for this thrift flip, I had these really long shorts that I wanted to hem. So I just folded them in and then used chalk to mark where I wanted to cut them. And then I marked that on both and I just cut it hem and this is what it looked like after I cut it. Um, and I wanted to do like a French seam I think where you fold it in once and then again so there's no raw edge showing so that's what I did here. And yeah that was basically all I did and these are how they turned out. And I hemmed them. I was really proud of my hem. So I just hemmed them. I like folded it up and they fit really really nicely you'll see in the try on. Um, but they're the brand Classic Editions, size small, I don't know. I'm just really happy that I was able to like upcycle them and make them cuter because I really liked the color. And um, yeah, I feel like I could do this a lot more with shorts that are like longer. Because like the longer shorts are kind of like in now. I'm not a fan of them being super long, but a bit longer so there's more coverage is really nice. Like these go about mid thigh, which is really nice. Not like bermuda shorts but like a bit higher than mid thigh but i'm really happy with those and then i got these other 
shorts that I decided to cut. Um, they're a bit bigger around the waist. They're a size large. They're from Classic Editions too, whatever that is. These are 50 cents and they were like longer. I just like raw hem cut them and they look really cute on. They're like a nice lounging short. Like they're really soft and comfy and it's a cute, it would be cute with like a crop top or something just to lounge around in or um, put over like a swimsuit or something. And they just have like one pocket in the back and the waist is a bit too big on me so I have to like really tie the string tighter but and then also 50 cents I got these sweatpants I've been looking for this color sweatpants for a long time but these don't necessarily fit me the best but they're still comfy they're boys XL I think they're for like a Walmart brand or something but this is like the exact color sweatpants I wanted they fit pretty tight around like the thighs and stuff but they're like still a cute look and they're not too baggy I wish they had a drawstring but yeah, I was happy about these. They were only 50 cents, and I was like, okay, well, I need more loungewear stuff, so these were perfect. Yeah, I got this at the store, too. They have, like, a bunch of the exact same skirt, but I'm going to DIY these. This, you'll see in the try on that it's a bit, like, long-looking, but I'm just going to cut the hem. There's shorts underneath, so it's a skirt. so I'm going to cut the hem and then make them a bit shorter because I feel like it'd be a really cute look. Um, a little cute little skirt with, like, a cute little top or something, and I feel like that'd be really cute say cute one more time <laughs> so yeah i got that and then i got two scarves i've been obsessed with buying scarves recently you'll see on me on instagram i posted a photo in this scarf as a top and it's really fun to, to make them into tops or like i've seen people making them into bags and stuff and i think it's just like a fun trend because they're so versatile so first of all i got this flowery one you'll see in the try on i'm just wearing it as a top um it's kind of see-through when you hold it out like this but when you fold it together it's not as see-through so I thought it was just really pretty and like only like two dollars. Honestly, like would not buy a scarf for full price. Just go to your thrift store and like you'll find really nice silk scarves. Like is this one? I can. I'm not even in the frame. <laughs> Sorry, I'm standing on my knees right now. It's kind of hurting. Um, but I found this blue scarf. This blue. This green scarf. It was really pretty. I love this pattern. I don't know. It was just so pretty with the green. It says Valentino in the corner. And like, I wouldn't put it past, because I found a Yves Saint Laurent shirt at the same thrift store that I've been to. And like, I'm just like wondering if it's real, because, I mean, where's the tag? One second. The tag says 100% silk, so could be real. Let's just pretend it is, because I found a Yves Saint Laurent shirt at the same thrift store. So, I was just really happy with this one. Really pretty pattern, really cute, and really good size to make into like tops or a bag or whatever I want to do with it. And then the last thing I got at that thrift store was this really cute little blue purse. Another, or like teal purse, teal green kind of thing. And it's Danier leather, so it's real leather. And I thought it was just like the cutest little shoulder bag. So I got it for two. And it's in really good condition. And it says like the logo in there. But yeah, I thought it was just like a really cute little shoulder bag. And a really fun pot of color. So I'm trying to incorporate more color. And I feel like bags are a really good way to do that. Value Village, when I went to return the pants that I didn't fit me. I got this shirt. I got this like mock neck like purple shirt it's kind of just like a t-shirt thing i'm gonna crop it but i got this and i thought it was just super cute um you'll see on the try on but it's a really fun color and i feel like you could wear it with like a lot of like skirts and it was just like really cute. and then oh i also did get like a really long silk skirt that was black for uh what am i saying for to cut up and like make into things so that's downstairs in like my materials bin i got this like robe thing i saw it in like the robe section i was like I want to do a photo shoot in that, so I did. So I got this robe thing, and me and my friend Rachel did a photo shoot, and they turned out so well. I'm so excited to post them on Instagram, and like, I'll show you guys in a- Actually, I was gonna make a video about me like planning a photo shoot, and then showing you guys how it looked, or like what I do, because photography is something I'm really enjoying doing, and planning photo shoots is so much fun. So, maybe I'll do that in a whole video, because I feel like that'd be just like a fun little video to talk about it because I find it interesting like I follow a lot of TikTok photographers on TikTok that like explain like poses and like how they plan their shoots and stuff so I thought it'd just be a fun sort of video to for anyone who was curious or whatever and then I got this like silk this silk dress that we also took some photos in oh no it's gonna fall it's like floor length honestly I would wear this like I, would. I just need to tailor the sides a bit but it's this really pretty silk dress that goes all the way down and then it has some lace trim I may like cut it a bit 
shorter and maybe add a slit or something but it was really cute it was ten dollars so this was 5.49 i thought this robe was so pretty too and i could honestly wear it to the beach so i wasn't mad about these purchases but i had like such a vision of like this white robe in um the forest and i saw was it C cecil something and oh i just love the brand marnie and their like editorial shoots they're just so cool yeah see this was like the marnie ads i thought they were just so unique and so cool i just love the contrast of like the clothes against the oh yeah cecil cecil bonson cruise 2019 collection kind of thing i just loved how that looked like the white against the forest so i was really excited to do this and how it turned out so i was really happy with these pieces and then the last thing that's my favorite thing that i got was this corset i'll insert what i posted on instagram of me wearing it but it's so pretty I photoshopped out some holes it has though in the front which I'm really sad about but it's so pretty you'll see the try on it's like this oh, and it's like stretchy too so you can like make it fit and it's like cropped I'm like obsessed with it it's just like so pretty it's like this little detail pattern thing going on um yeah so I was really excited when I found that and I love going into the laundry section just like finding these kind of things and, like slip dresses it's like, so much fun but yeah that completes my haul thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're enjoying these hauls and uh hope you guys get to go through shopping too soon um but yeah follow me on tiktok because i've been through flipping a lot of stuff that i've bought which has been really fun and instagram because i post my photos of what i'm wearing or how i style stuff like this video if you enjoyed and <laughs> subscribe if you want to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and maybe i will be doing that photo shoot video thing it's a good idea and also i'm gonna be doing a video about like my program and talking about my second year experience i keep forgetting to film that but i got so many questions about like what like just questions about my program again and more that i want to answer for people so yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i need to stop saying that yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.